Hey guys, what's going on? It's King Clutch here, and today, guys, we're back from the NBA 2K21. I hope you guys are having a great day and everything is going well for you. Today, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how you can build Russell Westbrook. This is a great overall point guard build. I'm going to make this video as quick as I possibly can. I'm going to apologize. This is not going to come up before midnight. I'm sorry, guys, but we'll get it up for this morning. So, what you're going to want to do is make this a point guard. There's a number right handed. Again, uh, that stuff doesn't matter. You're going to want to make this a point guard, though. Go ahead and hit continue. Now, for the skill breakdown for Russ, I feel like slashing and playmaking is the one that we're, that's the one I'm going to go with. I feel like there really isn't another option. I feel like this is the best one for him. You can maybe go slashing and defense, but I feel like you need the playmaking for him. So that's why I'm going to go slashing and playmaking. So we'll go with that. And then when it comes to the physicals, I feel like speed and vertical is the obvious choice. You want to be able to get, have hops as well as be quick. So we're going to go with this speed and vertical chart. Now when it comes to the potential, we're going to upgrade our close shot, our driving layup, our driving dunk. That's going to be 19 finishing badges. And what you can do is throw this on standing dunk up until you get 20 if you would like, but I'll just leave it for now. Upgrade all of these shooting stats. You want to get as many of those as possible. Lower your post fade. Um, you can throw this down to a 67. Upgrade your pass accuracy and your ball handle. Do perimeter D, lateral quickness, steal, and then defensive rebound. Um, that's going to give you six of those. So that's going to be 19 finishing, 11 shooting, 22 playmaking, and six defensive badges. So overall, you're pretty well rounded. You can do pretty much everything. Um, so we're going to go with that. And I know this is very similar to the Derrick Rose video build. It's a little bit different. There's a few things that would change. But I'm going to go ahead and go with this. Now, for the body shape, again, this doesn't matter. I would say Russ would probably be built. So I'm going to go with that. Guys, Russ is 6'3", so you can make this build 6'3". Otherwise, you can go up to 6'5". That's an option too, but we'll go with this 6'3 height. For the weight, what I would do is just take it down to 193. That gives you a 1 plus boost to speed, so you might as well do it. So we're going to go with that. And then the wingspan, um, I would make the wingspan positive so you can get contact dunks off rip. You're going to want to max it out so you can get those contact dunks, and you can also get the pro dribble move. So we're going to max the wingspan out. And then for the takeover, I would say Russ would have playmaking or slashing take. You could pick either. I'll go with playmaking take, but you can easily go slashing take or even shot creating too, but we're going to go with this playmaking making takeover build guys we are going to get a slashing playmaker and again it doesn't say his name i'm not like too upset about it it's because i made the arms really long but overall this is a great point guard build you can do pretty much everything with the slashing playmaker build it's a great overall build guys so we're going to go ahead and go with this i'm going to go ahead and show you the badges i would throw on this build so when it comes to these six defensive badges i'm going to put intimidator on silver clamps on bronze i'm going to put chase down and rib protector both on bronze and then you can higher up intimidator to gold or throw this up the clamps a little bit higher. I just want the leaping animations with Chase on Artist and Rim Protector, so I'm gonna go with that. And then when it comes to the shooting badges, I'm gonna put Range Extender here on gold. I'm gonna put Difficult Shots on silver, Catch and Corner both on bronze, and then Dead Eye on silver. And then you can use Hot Zone Hunter, otherwise you can just higher up, Catch and Shoot and Corner, which that's what I'm gonna do. Just leave it like this for those shooting badges. And then when it comes to these finishing badges, Contact Finisher, Hall of Fame, I'm gonna put Giant Slayer on silver, Relentless on silver, Pro Touch on silver, Slithery on silver, Fancy Footwork on silver, and then Consistent finisher on silver and then what you can do you can either throw acrobat on here otherwise you can just hire up some of these other ones you can hire up pro touch you can hire up consistent fancy footwork or whichever ones you would like but i'm going to leave those like this and then when it comes to these playmaking badges we're going to put handles for days on hall of fame quick first step on hall of fame space creator on hall of fame tight handles here on silver and then i'm going to put bailout on bronze so we get the animations floor general i feel like you need it for this build so we're going to throw that there and then dimer is another badge you could use otherwise you could throw unpluckable on bronze and then dimer on silver do something like this so that's what i'm going to do for those playmaking badges guys but overall this is how you can create a russell westbrook build here in nba 2k21 this is a great overall point guard build guys and if there's any other players you want to see put it on the comments below and let me know but anyway guys it's been king clutch here hope you guys enjoyed the video anyways have a great rest of your day and peace out guys thanks